praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is your host, Elder Gregory Deuces, and the faith of God in that TV. Touch and degree for our praise the Lord. God bless you. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We cut our life and we give honor to you. Um, Pastor Bishop Dr. Elder Gregory Senior of the Pentecostal Prophet Church. Uh, greetings to all of you. Uh, we want to uh, definitely uh, thank the Lord for allowing us to have opportunity to be here today and be in the presence of the Lord. Uh, we want to thank uh, each and every one of you that have uh, been here in this broadcast. We do want to uh, put it out there. Uh, your support and your prayers continue to pray for uh, me and my family, continue to pray for the sick that's among us. Uh, let us continue to pray for the body of Christ uh, on the whole. And let us continue to uh, pray for all of those that are in the leadership. Remember, uh, the Clemens family in prayer, uh, the Lane family, uh, the Dow, the Reason, and the Stern family, and various ones that we may not know about, even though we knew that we be on social media and they have. Uh, uh, tracking our loss in the family, we are uh, definitely uh, getting our deepest sympathy and condolences. We pray for you and your family. So we definitely want to acknowledge that and uh, ask uh, that you continue to uh, trust the Lord with him in the days ahead. And so we want to uh, definitely uh, get ready to go before the Lord in prayer. That's when we know we're here. We're going to touch and agree today. Because we are touching the prayer hour, the Lord you will have our spoken request. We're going to go ahead and uh, jump on our social media channels here and uh, see if there's any others that uh, want to request. We are going to settle uh, early this week that requested prayer. So we want to pray for you and your families. Uh, and the Lord may uh, um, touch your family with an honor to be this prayer request that you have. Uh, prayer request at this time, you can go ahead and uh, let us know uh, what your request or make your request be made known. We can acknowledge your prayer request. Let us continue to pray. Uh, and the Lord will continue to uh, encourage and strengthen the body of Christ as well as all people that are in the land. Let us pray that uh, our leadership and you know, in government and let us pray for our local cities and governments. We um, you know that there is. Uh, Something going on behind the scenes, and we're going to pray um, for our country. I uh, trust we know that we need to ship our country. Let's pray for them. There's some things going on behind the scenes, but uh, we're going to be the last one to find out. But we know we pray and discern it, that we can see um, there are some uh, things that are happening, even in the banking system, uh, even uh, with this uh, silent war that's going on. A lot of people don't know we have a time of war, but it's really a solid war going on based on what we're doing in various areas about, you know, Russia and different things with the U.S. and other countries. So let us continue praying um, for the people of God that we continue to be steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the word of the Lord. So let us pray. That soul will be saying that God is in for our labor that we've been there. Let us pray for the sinner man, the sinner woman, the backslider. Those that uh, need to come to repentance, those that are in repentance, let's continue to pray for them, that the Lord will continue to restore them, especially those that are fallen from grace. Let us pray that God will renew them. Let us pray uh, that they will be renewed to repentance according to the word of the Lord. Uh, continue to pray for uh, this woman, Lucy, and uh, her family. Let's continue to pray for uh, our basic Christian church, the lady called that, and the Pentecostal Church family. Uh, let us pray for our deacon Tony, deacon Tony Lee, and the Bible team. Uh, let us pray for them and their families and the entire church. Remember Elder Thompson, Elder Larry Thompson, and the missionary Thompson, and Mother Bell, and the entire Thompson family. Let us continue to pray for them and to, to, to bless them and as well as strengthen them and their families to keep their hearts in prayer. All right? So those are the things that we want to be praying for and God will bless them and save the travel back. As they travel over the main highways and uh, become the leader of the Lord's will. So let us continue to pray for one another. We never know um, what anyone is going to do. And we know that prayer um, definitely uh, makes a difference. And so that's what we want to do. We want to pray for you and your families, uh, especially 
I'm saying? And that's important. All right? So we're going to go before the strong. Uh, if you have a request, we want to acknowledge that request. Uh, and there were some that requested prayer on uh, this coming kind of week. And we pray for missionary Shimon in the first name. Uh, let's pray for missionary Kurt and uh, Pastor Calvary, which is uh, in Pakistan. Let's pray for him, his family, and the ministry that he's got going there. That's what we want to do. In Jesus' name. So that's what we want to do. So we are here to go before the throne of grace and let's continue to pray for our northern district. We know that we have a district council starting tonight at 7 30 p.m. So let us pray for the northern district, district council, uh, our provider, and assistant provider. Let us pray for the entire National Home Hospital Church Incorporated. Let's pray for them. All right? So we're going to go before the throne. We ask that you should have a question and now we're going to be brief today, but we definitely want to get on the technical detail and acknowledge for every question and all that uh, is our prayer. So we're going to pray for you and especially those of you that are on social media uh, that may not have a church home, that may not be going to any local church. Uh, uh, we ask that you would. Uh, get under uh, some type of structure, some type of leadership. But in the meantime, we're going to pray for you that God will direct your heart. And we want to pray for you that God will continue to encourage and strengthen you, those of you that may not uh, have a physical church. We're going to be praying for you that the Lord will direct your heart. All right? So let us pray at this time. Eternal God, our Savior, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you once again as we come before the end for our presence, the Lord. We thank you. On today, we give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your mercy and joy forever. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for how good you have been to us. And we glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray. Oh, God, to all God, the families, oh, God, that, oh, God, requested prayer today. Oh, God, look on, oh, God, each and every family in a special way, God, as you continue to look on us, oh, God. Oh, God, as a people, bless us now, God. Continue to direct the hearts of your people, God. We pray for the need of the body of Christ. That you would send an anointing, God, that will cause your people, oh God, to continue, Lord God, to go higher, oh God, and be increased in faith and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, we pray today, Lord God, that you will continue to heal and, oh God, encourage the families that are going through right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask you to touch them. Oh, God, send healing, send deliverance, send an anointing, God. Oh, God, that will cause them, oh, God. Oh, God, to know the hallelujah that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Oh, God, let them know that you're there, God, that you're forever present in the lives of your people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look on the pastors, oh, God, and missionaries and evangelists. And those, oh, God, that request a prayer via social media. And, oh, God, various other means of request. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you honor their repentance right now. Lord, we ask that you, oh, God, oh, God, honor our petition and prayer request. We ask you to forgive us, oh, God, as a people, Lord God, and have mercy upon us, Lord God. Continue to blot out, oh, God, the transgression, Lord God. Oh, God, the sin of man, the sin of woman, even the believer, Lord God that's not in the place that they in their rightful place. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your blood will cover us all, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, that we will be, oh God, oh God, the people that you're calling for. And oh God, we will have a heart of humility, a heart of repentance, a heart of thanksgiving. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you right now. We give you all the glory and the praise. Thank you for what you're doing, God. Oh, God, in my life, in my family, God, we thank you right now for healing and deliverance. Look on, oh, God, my sisters, God, bless them right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Look on, Brother Tim, God, touch him right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Touch in the name of Jesus, Lord. Look on those that are tearing for the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, those that recently been baptized, touch them, God. Oh, God, and continue, Lord God, to save God, turn it around, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, God, for we know your blood covers us, God. 
Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. Father, we give you praise, oh God. We give you glory right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise today, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we glorify your name, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, continue to forgive us, Lord. When we know to do good and we did not do it. Forgive us, God, as a church. Forgive us as a minister. Forgive us as a people, God. Oh, God, look on, oh, God. Oh, God, those, oh, God. That, Lord, that's seeking, oh, God. Oh, God, your face. Touch them today, God. That, Lord, that they, oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, those that are seeking will find. Those that will ask, oh, God, it shall be given. That, oh, God, those that knock, the door will be open. Touch, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify you, mm. and we lift up your name in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Look on our district council, Lord God. Touch the northern district, God. Touch the national organization, Lord God. Touch the body of Christ, Lord God. Those, Lord God, hallelujah, glory to God. Those that want to be a part, God. Those that want to, oh God, be born again. Those that have been baptized, Lord, fill them with the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That those that are already saved, God. That Lord, continue to renew, God. That renew their strength, Lord. That in the name of Jesus, Lord. That Lord, we pray, God, for the need of the body of Christ. That Lord, you will supply their every need that according to your riches and glory. That and we thank you right now, God. That we thank you for hard repentance. We thank you, God. That oh, God, hallelujah. That oh, God, for your grace and your mercy. That we thank you, God, and we give you praise, God, that in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Lord, direct us now, God. That, Lord, as we journey through your word, God, for a brief space of time. That, Lord, we just want to touch and agree, God. That, you said, oh, God, that, oh, God, that there be two or three that, gathered together in your name, touching and agreeing. That, you said you would be a God in the midst of us. That, and Father, we pray today, God, that, that you would be in the midst that, Oh, God, of the request and the petition of my people. As we intercede, God, oh, God, meet them at the point of need, God. Oh, God, touch the lame family. Oh, God, touch, oh, God, Bishop Leroy, touch, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch his family, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Comfort them, God. Oh, God, look at Clemens' family, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, look on the Stearns family right now, Father. We pray, God, you continue to touch, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we know God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, the earth has no sorrow. The heaven cannot heal. But, Father, we pray for comfort for the hearts of those, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, that are going through. We ask you to touch them in a special way. In the name of Jesus. Touch them, God. No, please. Touch God. Oh, God, touch them right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch the entire family, God. We pray for comfort. pray for strength. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do. We thank you for what you've already done. Continue to bless, oh God. Those that hear your word, God, oh God, help them, Lord God. Oh God, to have a greater understanding. And oh God, a greater revelation. Oh God, about you. And oh God, about, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, about the plan of salvation. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you would continue, oh God. Oh God, to grant them grace and grant them your mercy, God. Because we know your mercy endure forever. And your truth endure to all generations. We thank you now, Lord. We give you glory and praise. Honor the requests and the petitions, God, of thy people, even those that are on, oh God, social media, oh God, that are joined in on this prayer. We ask you to touch them today. And oh God, bless them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We forever give you glory and praise. Continue to bless our pastor, God, Bishop, and God, Lady Paulette, and the Pentecostal Power Church in Milwaukee. Take us through, God, and we'll be kept with you. The glory, honor, and the praise. And we thank you for it right now. These and other blessings we ask and pray. And we create in the matchless name of Jesus to the glory of God. Thank God. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise God. So we thank God for. Um, touch and agree prayer, and we want to uh, just go ahead for a few moments and encourage the people of God to learn the Lord. We were not on on Wednesday, so we will pick up uh, sharing my faith 
and of course we can win. So we have to pick it up that way. Uh, we have to uh, go out of town to have to make a quick trip. And so we want to uh, pick it back up on Monday and sharing our faith and thought. So we want to get uh, the finalization of these uh, six routes to discipleship. So we can go uh, right now. We're going to talk about uh, spiritual gifts. We talked about calling on Monday. Wednesday, we were not broadcasting due to uh, we have some other uh, important matters to take care of. Um, and so we want to uh, definitely uh, pick it back up because we want you to uh, get the whole series of these six roots to discipleship. We're on number six, and we're at uh, our second topic, which is spiritual gifts. And we have two more left, which we'll finally, uh, finalize and conclude on Monday if the Lord's will. Get the Lord's will. That's our intention. But it's get the Lord's will. So we're going to pick up and conclude uh, and finalize the six words to discipleship. And remember, we said if anyone is going to be a disciple, they must be disciplined. And in order to be a disciple, we must uh, pair up and line up in Matthew 16 and 24. He said, if any man will come after me, uh, he must first deny himself and take his cross and follow him. So we must uh, follow uh, Jesus' footsteps. Mm -hmm. We must follow his example, and we must also follow uh, the apostles' teaching. And so some people say, well, you know, they're an apostle, but they don't uh, teach the apostles not. They even teach what Jesus taught. So, you know, apostle, in Revelations, he said, some simply were apostles and he found them as life. So, um, we don't want to be found as life. We want to be true apostles and we want to be a true apostle. Uh, scripture. Uh, scripture defines apostle as one that was an eyewitness of Jesus. Praise God. Had some type of physical encounter or experience uh, with Jesus. You know, Apostle Paul met Jesus on the Damascus Road. So we, we're not going to get into that, but we just want to let you know if our apostleship is going to be authentic, we must walk in the apostles' doctrine. Praise God. Which the apostles were taught by Jesus. Praise God. Mm -hmm. and so we're going to go a little bit farther. We're going to talk about the spiritual gifts, and uh, as we talk about it, we got to believe uh, that God is the one that uh, gives gifts, all right? And so, since God grants gifts, it's important you know, that we understand. Since God gives the gifts, we must understand that uh, it's for the glory of God, all right? We're going to go to a familiar passage of scripture and just for uh, commentary uh, scripture is not commentary but I'm using uh, this particular scripture to lay out some commentary and uh, we're going to take a look at James uh, chapter 1 uh, let's look at uh, James chapter 1 and verse number 17 James 1 and 17 
determined of his own will he would guide us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. And so the good and perfect gift uh, has to deal with the person walking in light. You know? Means there is no evil in that person. Um, if they've been sanctified by the Holy Ghost, you know? they're going to walk in the light and they're going to walk in salvation. Right? And so Jesus talks about person that abide in darkness, how great is that darkness? And so we that have the good and the perfect gift, it come down from above. You? The last one says, if you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitting on the right hand of God. So the perfect gift, there's no variation. Hmm? Uh, there's no cause by change. Circumstance don't cause our gift to turn. Trials don't cause our gift to turn. Hmm? Praise God. Hmm? Suffering don't cause the gift of God you got to change. We can look at Job, he was a type of Christ. His suffering, his persecution, his going through did not change his character. In the essence of all glory be to God. Hmm? The servant that he was to God. Hmm? He said, if I'm going to curse anything, I'm going to curse the day I was born. Praise God. Hmm? But I will not curse God. So there was no change in Job. Hmm? In his eternal love. In his internal love, rather. In his in internal love for God. Hmm? All glory be to God. So that good and perfect gift is from above. We're going to talk about it. Let's go to uh, let's go to another scripture. Sometimes we have these gifts, and we got to understand uh, these gifts are for uh, the gifts of the Spirit are for ministry mm -hmm. to one another and for one another. Remember. These gifts are to, oh, glory to God, for the ministry, to one another, and for one another. Notice, notice now, me as a teacher, I never said that the gift was for you. Hmm? The fruit is never, that's on the tree, is never for the person, uh, or never for the tree, oh, glory be to God, but it's for the sake of those that wants to be blessed, hmm? and receive what God has put in that tree and increase that tree. If you got an apple tree, God put the apples on the tree. Anybody that walk up to the tree can get an apple and taste of that increase that God has placed in that apple. God has put gifts in us so others can benefit from what he's put in us. Praise God. Hmm? If it's your gift, then do how you want to do it. But the gift is not for you. All right? So let's make sure we lay that out there. It's not your gift in the first place. Mm -hmm. This is the gift of God. And so God gave gifts unto men. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. In verse number 11. He says in Matthew 7 and 11. He says, if then, if ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, Give good things to them that ask him. Hmm? And so we have to understand that if God uh, know the hearts of humanity and humanity uh, uh, gives based on condition, hmm? but God gives based on his love. All glory be God. All glory be God. We don't we don't always all oh, glory be God. We have to be taught and learn how to give out of love. Hmm? We have to learn how to love and be taught how to love. 
but the very essence of God and who he is because he's the, the, the perfect gift come from above. And so when we have the love of God in our hearts, all oh, glory be to God. I know I'm working with something. Hmm? We will give to one another. Hmm? Uh, and we'll use these spiritual gifts hmm, for ministry hmm? and not for ourselves. Hmm? And I know sometimes people want to prostitute to get hmm? Oh, God. People want to, uh, they want to pimp the gift. Hmm? But the gift is the gift of God. And it's for those, he said, you have freely received, freely given. Praise the Lord. And so we need to find ourselves hmm? operating in these spiritual gifts for ministry. Hmm? And we got to use the gifts that God has given us. To build up the church and not ourselves. Hmm? All glory be to God. Hmm? Nehemiah, and the first thing that came to my mind was Nehemiah saw the condition of the wall. Hmm? But he, all glory be to God, he had a mind to work. And when he had a mind to work, it didn't take but a few of them to come together and get the job done. You don't need everybody. You just need a few with a mind to work. Praise the Lord. Hmm? When you try to get a bunch of folk together, sometimes you don't get nothing but confusion. Hmm? But if you get a few folk that's got the same mind, same objective, huh? the same, oh, glory be to God, the same love, same mind, same motivation, and the same purpose, the same call hmm? to give themselves over to the Lord and give that gift over to the Lord. Hmm? Then we might build up the church. Hmm? We need to use these gifts for the building of the kingdom. I'm not saying we're not. I'm just teaching the lesson plan today. And when I look at this lesson plan, Christ was showing the heart of God hmm? that he's not selfish here in Matthew 7. Hmm? He's not selfish. He's not begrudging. He's not stingy. Hmm? And we don't have to beg. And, 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 and gravel before God, we can come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain our own glory to God. Mercy and grace to help in the time of need. Hmm? Because we got to know the Lord is our help and we will not fear what man should do unto us. Look at this. We can come and ask God and request what we need from the Lord. Hmm? And him being a loving God, a loving Father, all glory to God, who cares, who understands, who will comfort. And if humans can be kind, hmm, imagine how kind God can be. All glory to God, because he's the creator hmm, of kindness. This is why that good and perfect gift come from above, because he is the creator. Hmm? He was God in creation, Son in redemption and Holy Ghost in regeneration. And you don't have to tell me if you ask God for the Holy Ghost, he'll give you the Holy Ghost. All glory be to God. Because that good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. All glory be to God. And so you don't have to take, it don't have to take you no 10 years to get the Holy Ghost. Hmm? You just you just gotta have a made up mind. Hmm? To be an overcomer. So make up your mind and ask God. Hmm? We got to believe God, to receive of God. And when God blesses us and empowers us with these gifts, we need to go to work and serve one another. Hmm? We need to go to work and help one another. We need to go to work and understand hmm? that this gift is for the building of the kingdom. Hmm? Let me go to our next week. I want to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4. I want to read something. We're going to let you go. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. I'm going to read two more scriptures and I'm going to try to let you go here. I'm going to get 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Have you looked at it with me here? 1 Corinthians chapter 4. We just want to encourage you that these are uh, these gifts of the Lord. Hmm? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's go to verse 8. Let's go to verse 8. Let's go to verse 8. 
I'm going to go to uh, first uh, number seven. Let's see what it says here in the first Corinthians uh, 4 7. He says, For who make thee differ from another? We're all different, right? We all got different personalities, different characteristics, different characters, different makeup, uh, a different background, different likes and dislikes. And here, uh, uh, Paul uh, counsels the, the young converts here in Corinth. And he says here, uh, For who make thee different from another? And what uh, hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why doest thou glory as if thou hadst not received it? Hmm? And sometimes we act like we, God ain't done nothing for us. Hmm? After all that God has done, sometimes we act like God ain't done nothing for us. Hmm? And when God need us, can he count on us? Oh, glory be to God. If God needed you today to serve somebody else, can he count on you? Hmm? You don't have to answer, but can he count on you hmm? to take what he has put in you to use it for his glory? Hmm? That's a good question. Look at it. And he says here, who make it thee to differ from another? This is the question he asks. And what uh, hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou uh, didst receive it, why do thou glory as if thou hadst not received it? Paul says something very powerful here. Why, you know, why do we pretend like God hadn't uh, placed his investment in us? Hmm? He says, now you are full, now ye are rich, ye have reigned as kings without us, and I would to God he did reign that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and uh, to angels and to men. God used the apostles for an example, for an exemplary point of view for us to have an understanding Hmm? about these gifts. Praise God. Hmm? And this is why Paul said he was the least of the apostles. Hmm? Look at this. Sometimes uh, we can uh, be in circumstances where we in a certain group, we in a certain category, hmm? We in a certain clique. And sometimes we base, you know, our ability hmm, about uh, around who we associate ourselves with uh, uh, in a, uh, uh, I'll use this point, uh, in a group. in a group that's, how can I say, a group that's categorized uh, by a certain caliber. Use that thing. Sometimes we associate ourselves with a group that's of a certain caliber. Hmm? But this is this is not how the gifts operate. Oh, glory to God. Hmm? In the spirit. You know, they're not based on our kind of, you know, counterparts. They're not based on where we live and how much resources we got. These gifts are not based on any of those things. Oh, glory be to God. So we don't want to find ourselves trying to compare ourselves by ourselves and keep up. Hmm? But we got to be willing to do what Apostle Paul did. Know how to be a base and know how to be out of bound. Praise God. Hmm? So wherever it is that God needs you, all go through that. We need to find ourselves working hmm? and being used huh? and being submissive 
Hmm? We need to find ourselves serving in ministry. Hmm? Helping one another. And using these gifts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to emphasize this. We got to use these gifts of the building up of God's kingdom. Are you using your gift for the building of God's kingdom? Are you doing like the, the one that received the one talent, the one that received the five talents, the one that received the ten talents? Hmm? The one that received one very here. We got to make sure that we would use these gifts as God's given us to us who are to serve others and to build up the body of Christ. I'm going to say this again. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1 through 4 says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brother, I would not have you ignorant. You know uh, that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were laid. Before you got saved, all oh, glory be to God. Hmm? You were doing all oh, glory be to God. What unsaved folk do. Hmm? But now that you are saved, all glory be to God. You got to know, all glory be to God. Now that you are saved, you've been saved for our purpose. Hmm? All glory be to God. And what you have is for God. And we ought to glorify God in our bodies and our spirit, which are God. Hmm? It ain't yours in the first place. Let me get on out here. I'm closing now. Hmm? You know that when you were Gentile, you carried away with these dumb idols, even as you were late. This is what he says here. I'm gonna read down to verse number. Uh, I'm gonna read down to uh, uh, verse number eleven. I'm gonna try to read down to there if I can, if I can get down there. Well, I'm just gonna read down to four. And he says here, now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. He said. Hmm? Anybody can claim to speak for God. Hmm? The world is full of false prophets. Oh, glory to God. Let me get out of here. Hmm? Anybody can stand up and speak for God. Hmm? But that don't mean they were, I read it this week, that don't mean they were sent hmm? by God. So let me just make it plain, plain. Hmm? And we got to use discernment because these gifts, well, all these gifts and these calling always will point to our real motive and reason for why we're served. Hmm? And we're going to get to the point in ministry now, oh, glory be to God, I got to be, I got to turn loose. We're going to get to the point in ministry, we're going to get to the point in ministry where it's going, where the rubber going to meet the road. Hmm? And as soon as we have a financial collapse, hmm? soon as, soon as this government starts to fall, hmm? Soon as this nation began to fall, hmm, it's going to point to who the real servants of God are. All oh, glory be to God. Hmm? Look at this. Anyone can claim to speak to God. Because we know that many false prophets are going out into the world. That's what it says in the, in the scripture. But Paul gives the Corinthian church and these young converts, he gives them a, a pop quiz. Hmm? to help them discern whether a messenger hmm, is really from God. Oh, glory be to God. Y'all read this 12th chapter. I got to go. I got to let you go. Read this uh, 12th chapter of 1st Corinthians. Paul gives them a test and teaches them about spiritual gifts to let them know. Let's, let's go on down to here. He says here, now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administration, but the same law. And there are diversities of operation. Oh, but it's the same God which work it all in all. Hmm? Oh, everybody can't be a pastor. Everybody can't be the teacher. Everybody can't be the evangelist. Oh, glory be to God. Ephesians 4, uh, 4 and 11 through 12. Hmm? Prophet, pastors, teachers, huh? evangelists, huh? Everybody came, somebody, all glory to God. 
got to use the gift, all oh, glory to God, that God has placed in them to help in working the body of Christ. Hmm? And all these gifts are placed in the body to do what? To, to according to our severability and to please the one that called us in the first place. Look at this. He says, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operation, but it's the same God which work it all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man proper with God. For one is given the Spirit of word of wisdom. Look at this. Paul breaks it down here. He says, For one is given the Spirit by the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. The same Spirit, but there's diversity. Look at this. Another, faith by the same Spirit. Another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. We need one another. Don't, oh, boy, you got, don't tell me that we don't need one another. We need one another in the body of Christ. Hmm? And if the body is fractured, where's the healing at? All oh, glory be to God. Hmm? All oh, glory be to God. If somebody needs some knowledge, all oh, glory be to God. If we're fractured, where's the knowledge at? Where is it? Where is it teaching at? Hmm? We need one another. Hmm? And we need to stop all oh, glory be to God. We need to stop uh, uh, because there's diversities in gifts that don't make us divided. Hmm? Let me make sure. Huh? It's one spirit that God has made us all be baptized into the one spirit. Glory. Look at it. He says here, for one is given by the spirit a word of wisdom, another word, uh, another, a word, uh, he said another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another, the working of miracles. Where are the miracles at? Oh, glory to God. Another prophecy to another discerning of spirits. Oh, glory be to God. We had some stuff happen. Oh, glory be to God. Hmm? This weekend, and we got to discern some things, saints. We got to discern and we got to know. Oh, glory be to God. When the Holy Ghost speaks, we got to act on what God gives us. Hmm? We can't go to somebody else. We got to make sure we hear from the Lord. Oh, glory be to God. Huh? Because you might go to somebody else and they may not have their gift. Oh, I'm going to do that. Or, oh, they may not be working in the gift that they need to be working in. And you listen to them and don't hold the Holy Ghost that already spoke to you and told you what to do. Why would, oh, glory be to God. Hmm? The Holy Ghost tell you there's danger. You don't need to go ask nobody else if it's danger. Let me get out of here. I got to go. I'm trying to make it plain, but, hmm? That the Holy Ghost said there's trouble. You don't need to go ask somebody else. Do that look like trouble? <laughs> we don't need to second guess God. Praise all. And so there's gifts of healing. Another working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discern of spirit. And to another diaries. Kinds of tongues. And to another interpretation of tongues. But all these work in that one. And the self same spirit divided to every man. Mm, glory be to God. Several as he will. This is all about God. All glory be to God. Mm? This is not about you. This is not about me. This is all about God. And anytime we make it about us, we take God out of the equation and it becomes our gift work. Oh, glory. Let me get out of here. I got to go. But I want to encourage you. Let the Lord use you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God for my uh, senior bishop. He's been on my heart uh, for this last week. And he says, uh, use me, Lord, in thy service. Oh, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. He said, use me, Lord, in thy service. Our bishop emeritus, he said, use me, Lord, in thy service. Draw me near every day. Oh, glory be to God. Hmm? Are you willing to run on all the way? Hmm? But if you willing, if you ready to run on all the way, then think about it the next time. God will use that gift he put in. He know what he put there. Hmm? You can 
Paul was talking to these young converts. You can try to deny it all you want to, but God is not crazy. He's not going to call you if he don't want to use you. Oh, glory. Let me get out of here. I got to go. Hmm? And so the next time God called your name, uh, Bishop Emeritus told me to say, here I am, Lord. Hmm? We need to be saying, here I am, Lord. Hmm? And this is where we need to be. We need to be listening for our name. We need to be somewhere in the Holy Ghost listening for our name. Here I am, Lord. Hmm? Thy servant hear thee. And we need to be, if there's ever been a time, we need to be tuning in to the Holy Ghost. The time is now. Because we're running out of time. And so I just wanted to encourage you today on the Touch and Agree for Hour to tune in more to the Holy Ghost. Hmm? That these spiritual gifts, oh, glory be to God, will be in full operation. And that God will be glorified. Because the Bible did say, let your light so shine that men may see, oh, glory be to God, your good works. Hmm? Not your bad works. You ain't got no business in the line going back and forth with the teller. Hmm? Talking about you a saint of God and then you going back and forth acting going through some changes holding up the line. Hmm? But we need to show forth some good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. And when people see God being glorified, he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. Hmm? And the reason why we can't draw nobody because we in the flesh. If the truth be told, we walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. Hmm? And Paul said in Romans chapter 8, I'm closing now, said, therefore now there is no condemnation. Glory to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And so we need to be striving to walk in the spirit so the gifts of the Holy Ghost can be in full operation and flow in our churches and our ministries and flow through our lives that others might be drawn to God. Mm -hmm. And that we might build up all glory to God, the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 all glory to God. Mm -hmm. and somebody asked the question mm -hmm. if you were the church, which we know we are as individuals, you are the church, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. What kind of church are you? Praise God. What kind of church are you? Hmm? If we're saying we represent God, we're ambassadors of God, what kind of church are you? Hmm? Are you a lying church? Are you a hypocrite church? Are you all glory to God? Or are you that church that's walking in the truth? In 3 John, he said, I had no greater joy than when I, he said he rejoiced because he had no greater joy when he saw his children walking in the truth. Are you walking in the truth of God? But when we walking in the truth of God, hmm, we make sure that if God wants to use us anywhere and anytime, we'll make sure that we're available to God. We want to say God bless you today. We thought that we will stop that. If God sanctions to use us anywhere and anytime, and the gift he's put in us, he want to use it. We need to make ourselves available. Hmm? And we used to sing this song, Lord, I'm available to you. All right. Oh, that, that phone is. I got to go. But he said, we sing the song, Lord, I'm available to you. Are you? And so my question is, are you really available to the Lord? Hmm? Well, if you're really available, remember again. The gift is not yours. So these are the faithful words of Ellen Newsom with the Faith in God in that TV. We want to say God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. And we are in our district council meeting starting tonight at 7 30 for those of you that are going to uh, be in uh, those particular services. It starts at 7 30 tonight at uh, the True Holiness Church where uh, this is y'all at Pastor Tyrone Turner and Lady Turner uh, in that leadership and uh, it's going to be held at their 
uh, location. So, Mr. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today uh, on the Touch and Greet Crowd. We love you with the love of the Lord. We open pray that your uh, praise and worship service um, be all that uh, the Lord will have it to be in the uh, soul will come in, be in ministry, and uh, the soul will be saved, souls will repent, be baptized in the Lord in Jesus' name, and the mission will be sent, and that they will receive the pressure gift of the Holy Ghost. So we're praying that you will um, have a blessed uh, worship and praise service at your local service. Please pray for uh, the Clinton's family as they uh, go through our bereavement um, and their services uh, start tomorrow morning. And so those of you that are going to be here to see uh, to support Sister Lee, we ask that you continue to pray for her and her family for the family of the church. So we love you with the love of the Lord. We say God bless you and thank you for joining us again. Uh, we want to uh, I want to say to you uh, until the next time we want to say to you until the next time, uh, God bless you in Jesus' name, and thank you for joining the faith in God and the TV. God bless you.